Peter Lynch. This is my secret location, Man Cave, and I want to show you around. Join me. Come on, let's go. A lot of people ask me about my memorabilia I've got, and to be honest, they say, why did you collect it? It's a passion. But I don't know why I've done it. I truly don't know. I wish I did. Oh, look, I met so many nice people, and I do have verbal diarrhoea. I talk to people, never know when to shut up. My wife always gives me a kick, bang, you know, so I know it's time to shut up. Oh, I'm gonna go now, yeah. What does your wife think about your collecting and stuff? And has she ever said to you to knock it on the head? No, she never said to knock it on the head, but she <laughs> really annoyed because she can't get anything in it. So that, that's a sore point. I think sometimes she doesn't realise how much we've spent. So you get by. I've had a lot of nice things happen. Baron Lockyer gave me a pair of his boots, you know. What a lovely guy he is. I won't mention the score that day. Broncos beat us. Nice little thing Benji got me. This is Peter. You are a legend, mate. Benji, great guy. My pride and joy. The team photo for 2005. To manage the Kiwis in 2005 was an absolute dream come true. I never, ever thought I'd manage the Kiwis. And then to beat Australia in the final 24-0, unbelievable. New Zealand tonight are on top of the world. Welcome to Mount Smart Stadium. We're right now at the back of the Eastern Stand. And this is the Mad Butcher's personal memorabilia on display. And I want to show you a special little piece I've got here. To the Mad Butcher, Warriors number one, Steve Price, very special. This one here from Stacey Jones. When you think of the Warriors, you think of Stacey Jones. Here's Jones in his place. Jones is inside the 10. Jones scores. New Zealand are level. We enjoy the good times, 2002, 2011. Very simple my club. That's simple as that. A very special person, the one and only Olsen Filippano. Played for Mangarese, went on to play for several clubs in Australia. Beautiful guy, unfortunately he died too soon. And uh, yeah, just a, a lovely person. You know the biggest problem? What do you do with it when you die? And that's the biggest problem I have right now. Because I'm 84, no, no, <laughs> I'm 78. I don't even know my own age. It's no good having it there and no one sees it, you know what I mean? And I think it's an, an asset to the stadium because not only is it the stadium, has a bit of a memorabilia there, it's great to see things from the past. The legacy is, you know, mind you, when I die, I won't give a shit. I feel very blessed to be fair, very blessed. I thought I was going to cry then. <laughs> yeah.